Full Throttle was LucasArts' first non-Star Wars game to hit 1 million sales. Monkey Island didn't do it, Sam and Max didn't do it, and even intrepid adventurer Indiana Jones couldn't get there. But Tim Schafer's dystopian motorcycle graphic adventure did. A murder, a conspiracy, and a corporate takeover, Ben Throttle, voiced by the iconic Roy Conrad, became a LucasArts icon rubbing shoulders with Guybrush and Indy, but never a sequel came. Creator Tim Schafer moved on to arguably LucasArts' best and most definitely hardest adventure game, Grim Fandango, before he left LucasArts altogether. Once upon a time, a sequel to Full Throttle was in development at the company. The game was developed during the adventure game's difficult transition to 3D, and new footage of the game has recently surfaced. This includes the never-before-seen opening to Full Throttle Hell on Wheels. Welcome to Consequences, the only choice that matters. We love stories, adventure games, and most importantly, LucasArts. Special shout out to Evan Hanley, who somehow managed to find new footage for Full Throttle Hell on Wheels. For more content on Full Throttle, Monkey Island, and Grim Fandango, hit the throttle on that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and comment your thoughts below. It helps more than you can know. Full Throttle Hell on Wheels was formally announced at E3 in 2003 and was expected to release in the winter of the same year. A trailer was shown featuring some familiar faces and some very very unfamiliar game mechanics. I can't help thinking this is always where my troubles begin. It looks so simple. Help out a pretty dame, kick some tail, and leave town. But it never ends up that way. Things get real complicated, real fast. By the end of the 1990s, LucasArts had left 2D adventuring behind and were trying to find a way to transition to full 3D for their adventure game properties. The first attempt was Grim Fandango, and despite being considered one of the best games of all time, was a commercial failure for LucasArts. Despite the strength of its story, the game couldn't outrun the clunky trank controls, fixed camera angles, and other issues that came with the genre's move to 3D graphics. The company had another run at 3D with Escape from Monkey Island in the year 2000, this time using an improved version of the Grim Fandango engine. A PlayStation 2 release was also developed as the company needed to address the declining sales of PC gaming. The game was a moderate success, but not as beloved as a hit like The Secret of Monkey Island. Everything pointed to the fact that 3D adventure gaming wasn't performing for LucasArts. Star Wars games were selling like hotcakes, and the general mood at the company seemed to have been that adventure games were no longer a priority. Players wanted action games. They wanted Doom, they wanted, they wanted Grand Theft Auto, or Call of Duty. LucasArts wasn't ready to give up on their slate of adventure games just yet, and in 2003, Full Throttle Hell on Wheels was announced. The company was enthusiastic about the game, believing Ben and the Polecats to be the perfect vehicle to usher in a new era for their beloved adventure characters. LucasArts president at the time, Simon Jeffrey, felt Ben was popular and iconic enough to lead the company into its next generation. In a press release, he had this to say, Full Throttle is one of LucasArts' greatest and most beloved original games. We can't think of a better brand or character to lead LucasArts' charge into a new era of original game development. Ben so perfectly symbolises our legacy, and yet has just the right mix of attitude and edge to appeal to a new generation of game players. Hell on Wheels would see you reprising your role as Ben, the leader of a biker gang known as the Polecats. Popular characters like Maureen and Father Talk would feature in the game, as well as plenty of new faces. 
The game was being developed using the Grim Fandango engine and has the player travelling across the country on Ben's motorcycle, solving puzzles and getting into fistfights along the way. To be clear, what this game was not was a point and click adventure game and its fan base was and still is point and click adventurers at heart. In the early 90s, pointing and clicking using a verb interface was just how you played games. Companies didn't know that this gameplay was actually its own style and would be a key element that fans loved and missed once it went away. 30 years later, point and click fans are very vocal about what they want, which is to point and to click characters around 2D environments, combine items in an inventory and use no less than nine verbs. But in the early 2000s, LucasArts, Revolution Software, Sierra and everyone else believed 3D was the only way forward and to do that properly, there needed to be more action. So Full Throttle Hell on Wheels was going to be an action adventure game that was mainly a beat em up with weapons that just happened to revolve around a conspiracy to remove all roads in America. The game was described as having puzzles, humorous dialogue and plenty of action. One uphill battle that the developers faced was the death of Roy Conrad, which meant Ben was voiced by someone else. This was a huge deal as Conrad had been the voice of Ben in the original game and was considered to be one of the strongest elements of Full Throttle, giving a very iconic performance. The two new cutscenes that have been found by Evan are very early in development pre-viz versions that have voice acting but not a whole lot else. Let's take a look at what would have been the opening cutscene for the game. As The kickstand. Man, it's good to be back. Ice cold beer. <laughs> Man, a lot of cops last night. How long you figure before this thing blows over? Not worried about it. Go get some cold brew. I guess we're outlaws again. <laughs> when did we stop being outlaws? As you can see, it's very rough around the edges, but what you can get is the general sense of the game. Here's a fully realized 3D Ben Throttle, cigar and all, with the rest of the polecat. Whoever's done the voiceover for Ben has done a bang up job of filling Roy's boots. I don't envy them. The short scene gives some of the setup of the game with the polecats being on the run again and the cops are after them. Beyond that, all we can really tell from the scene is that they're going for a beer and I would imagine there is a bar brawl which will quickly ensue and give us our tutorial for the fight mechanics for the game. Evan also released a slightly longer scene that's also pre viz development footage, but it gives a bit more background to the game's story. The clip reveals that Father Talk has died and also name drops Mr. Corley, Maureen's father. His murder is the central conspiracy during the original Full Throttle. Father Talk, the ex leader of the Polecats, appears briefly in the game and handles the eulogy of Mr. Corley's funeral at the end. We took Father Torque to the old biker church. Sacred ground for us. The final resting spot of a lot of great bikers. But no one better than him. The only thing left to do was say whatever I could at the old man's grave. Try to make it all mean something. It's funny. Last time we were here, it was with Father Torque. We were burying old man Corley. Torque did the talking then, but now it's up to me, I guess. We're bikers. We live by a simple code. Death, revenge, and the road. Torque understood that. It won't bring him back, but hope we did right by you, old man. Right on, Polecat. Me and the Polecats will meet you a ways up the road. Take your time. Yeah. Listen, there's something I want you to have. I want you to take the 8000, make it into a real road bike, something my dad would be proud of, something Torque would ride. Thanks, I will. Mo, I want you to take Torque's bike, fix it up, take it back to your eggheads and show them what a real Corley is like. 
friend who's gonna show him how to ride it. Mo, I've been thinking about your offer, Corley Motors. You and me. And? I don't know how much longer I want to ride alone, but it's all I've ever known. It's my life. I understand. Just take the bike. Bring it back to me when you're ready. The scene shows some deep dialogue that really builds on the lore and setting a full throttle. The hallmarks of a good LucasArts game are all present, but the game didn't make it out of development. We're even treated to a developing Mo and Ben relationship, with Ben considering the prospect of settling down. And that's it for the new footage, and even though there does seem to be a good story starting, with some solid voice acting, that wasn't enough to push Hell on Wheels to market. A playable demo was revealed at E3 in 2003, and the game was planned for release later that same year. The game's cancellation came suddenly partway through a very smooth development cycle. Simon Jeffrey, who was previously excited about Ben's future as the mascots for LucasArts adventure games, had this to say about the cancellation. We do not want to disappoint the many fans of Full Throttle, and hope everyone can understand how committed we are to delivering the best quality gaming experience that we possibly can. LucasArts felt that the graphical quality of Hell on Wheels wasn't on par with other games coming to market, and without Tim Schafer's involvement, it was decided that the game should be canned. It's a shame that we never got to experience this game, but at least we have some beautiful, albeit very early, development footage to see us through. I don't know if the game would have been good, it doesn't kind of look like that, but after hearing some of the dialogue, I am at least interested to know what we missed out on. And that's not even the worst of it. A few years before Hell on Wheels entered development, another sequel was planned, Full Throttle Payback, and it was a true point and click sequel to Full Throttle being developed by Larry Ahern and Bill Tiller who created and designed The Curse of Monkey Island. But we'll get into that on another day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd love to know your thoughts on Full Throttle Hell on Wheels. Would you have played it? Were you excited for it? Do you remember playing it at E3? Were you one of the people that got to play it? Drop a comment below and be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed.